It's time for Peter Greenberg Worldwide with America's number one travel news journalist. And now, the man who travels over 400,000 miles each year, your travel detective, Peter Greenberg. And welcome aboard another edition of Peter Greenberg Worldwide. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend wherever you happen to be. But let me tell you where we are. 26 degrees, 38 minutes north, 81 degrees, 52 minutes west. We're coming to you from Fort Myers, Florida. My baby beside me at the wheel. Cruising and playing the radio. With no particular place to go. By the way, earlier in the show, we were talking to the boating reporter. I love that. A boating reporter. Well, that's one of my all-time favorite things to do, of course, is to be on a boat out on the water. Here's my next favorite thing to do. Listen to this. You hear all this? You know what that is? Those are shells. Now, they're in a bag, and they were brought to me by my next guest. Her name is Pam Rambo. I love that name. <laughs> Rambo. You're a sheller. I am a sheller, Peter. What is a sh- Explain this to me, please. What is, what is a shell? Don't just say you walk along the beach and collect shells. You do, you do more than that. Well, it, it is actually a sport, too, you know. It's, it's competitive? Know, it's very compesi- competitive, yes. So to be able to, I mean, when you walk the beaches of Sanibel, I'm emptying out all of these shells right now so you can see all the different ones that we can find. Right. I mean, on a normal day. This is on a normal day. You can find most of these. Now, you didn't Not find all, all those in one day. No. After a storm, you can find all of them. Really? Just about all of these. In hey, listen, day. after a storm, you can find all that and three dead people washed up on <laughs> no, shore. <too>. you can't. <laughs> oh, I no, like this. What is this? That wow. is my favorite shell. And that's Explain called... this, because this is radio. You have to explain this. Okay. That. It looks like a corkscrew. I mean, it's a little twirly, kind of uh, like, you know, a, a little corkscrew, and it's called a worm shell. It, it's, it's, it's like a white pretzel. Right. I love it. <laughs> white pretzel. A white pretzel. I love that. Okay. And I have, I made a mirror out of over a thousand of these, and it looks like a chihuly Glass shell. blown. Yeah. yeah. It looks I can like, see that. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. So, so what you got here from Virginia Beach, what, 10 years ago? Well, we kind of made a stop in between in Miami, so okay. we were there for five years. Okay. Yeah. But what brought you here? These right here. These... You know, we're, I always like to be around a beach. So what you're telling me, you, are, you, you have a passionate obsession with shells. I do, definitely. So what um, do you, other than making mirrors with this one, what do you do with everything else? Well, I just kind of collect them. I'm a collector Are you like shells. the cat lady? If I come to your I house, like wait a minute. Lady. If I come to your house, are they going to be removing you in about two years and, and taking you to a home? If you could see my downstairs in my garage, you would, yeah, you would it's think over. I was a little obsessed. Yeah. Are you married? Yes. And your husband, what does he do? He tolerates this. No, he is just as obsessed as I am. So they're taking you both out in the van. Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure we have the understanding. He might even be a little bit more competitive, if you can believe that or not. So at the end of the day, you guys see who got the better shells? Yeah. Oh, no, we don't even, at the end of the day, it's right then and there. Okay, I got you (laughs) on this one. Yeah, it's very competitive. But it's fun, because you can do it. You know, you can go out there by yourself and shell. You can be with your husband or loved one. Your kids love it. Um, it's just a really fun, and it's free. These are free on the beach of Sanibel. I got it. Yeah. Okay, what was the most, in your entire experience here, of competitive shelling, uh, yeah. what was the, the biggest surprise find you ever had? Surprise find? Yeah. Um, actually, I brought my surprise You have it? Yeah. Is this that? is the shell that everybody looks for here. It's called a Genonia. And that's it. Now, these are you. I brought Wait, these for that? you. What's that? That's a cone shell. That's ah. an alphabet cone. See, it's a little bit different shape. It looks like and a little called, ice this cream one, cone. This one is called? Genonia. Wow. And that's the most sought after shell here. Why? Because it's a little bit more rare. You don't find it, you know, just about every day. I've been shelling all my life. That's the only Genonia I've ever found. And you keep that in your pocket at all times. <laughs> well, is this I your didn't lucky Genonia? I didn't want it to get confused with these. Because I I'm, hate when you confuse the Genonia. I'm giving these to you, but I can't give you that one. <laughs> so that's you what, always got to hold back the Genonia on me. You see, right. you're such that's a Genonia right. tease. <laughs> that's right. Okay, take back your Genonia. All right, but isn't but, it pretty? But within what 100 feet of where we are right now, you can actually just go walk the beach. Yes, you? yes, you can. Wow. 
And if I find the Genonia, I should call you. Yeah, if yeah. you find a Genonia, yeah, you, you need to call me. I'll, you know, I take everybody's picture that found a Genonia, I put them on my blog. So that's a big thing. And what's your, your blog? Give me a, it's iloveshelling.com. I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Does your husband have a blog? Say, I live with no, a woman who loves shelling.com? No, but he's on it all the time, of course. We call him Super Sheller Clark. Oh, gosh. I don't even know where I'm going to go with this. Okay. Uh, it's fun. It's a treasure hunt. It is a treasure hunt. Yeah. And, and, and you can do jewelry out of this, too. Yes, you can. I mean, for example, this is what? That's a sand dollar. It is a sand dollar. Yes. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And, and with a chain, it's jewelry. It is. Now, I would have to coat that because yes. it's very fragile. So yes. using that as, you know, a piece of jewelry. Won't work. You, well, or, or, it will or, if you or, or it. one-time use. Yes, but you can at the drill shelling a hole. party. At the right, like that one, you could drill a hole right there. Yeah, I mean that's a beautiful, beautiful I love necklace. It. And yeah, and we find sea glass, but there's not as much as shells. So, yes, and this is this is what I call the Sanibel Six. This is the most sought after. Of course, the Junoni is the most sought after. But you already but put back in your pocket. I, I did. Know this. You're, you're not. You're, I you're not I'm not leaving that here. No, I'm I, sorry. I figured as much. <laughs> It goes like this. <laughs>